Hey everybody, Darren Slaughter, DarrenSlaughter.com. I was just reading some of the comments on a post I made over on the site, and uh, longtime reader Joe Levitch uh, posted a comment talking about how he was changing around his marketing plan and having some things in place that he's looking forward to getting launched. And he brought up a word where he mentioned something in his comment about scaling, and it really kind of set something off in my head. So I wanted to address it with a quick video and uh, say, Joe, thanks for putting the bug in my ear. Um, this is going to kind of be a mix of a lot of things. It's going to talk about scaling. It's going to talk about marketing. It's going to talk about you know how much of a of a budget you should spend on your marketing. So bear with me. I may kind of like meander, but but hopefully you should get something out of it. Um, in any event, <clears throat> when you talk about marketing a contracting company and scaling and advertising and deciding which jobs to do, you have to really sit down and pick and choose. Who you're going to do business with and here's the point um, I have this conversation all the time and I say I'll say to a contractor and let's talk about scaling first um, I'll ask them you know how many jobs are you doing now and let's say somebody's doing you know two remodels a month now and those two remodels are netting them you know sixty thousand dollars a month um, you know that's just uh, it's about seven hundred thousand dollars a year or something like that close to that um, and I asked them, well, how much more business can you do without adding a whole lot of people and a whole lot of equipment and things like that? Because let's face it, the contracting business doesn't scale well. Um, you can't add a lot of you can't add a lot more business without adding bodies and, and equipment to it. So I asked the question, how much more can you can you grow? How many jobs can you add a month that doesn't require you to go too deep into the pocket for adding people and things like that? So let's say that number is three more jobs. So if you can add three more jobs, that's a total of five. So that three jobs at thirty thousand, it's giving you ninety thousand dollars a month, or just over a million dollars a year in top line revenue. Here's where it gets tricky from a marketing standpoint. I'll ask that contractor. Well, you're gonna you want to get at another million dollars of top line revenue. What's your advertising budget? And here's where I typically fall off the chair. They'll say, well. You know, I have about five, five hundred or a thousand dollars a month to spend on marketing, and I'll say, you know, you're better off just taking those dollars and taking some money on vacation or spending them somewhere else because you're never, ever, ever going to get at a million dollars in top line revenue spending one percent on advertising. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen in today's world. The, the market is too competitive, um, especially in the remodeling space, for you to think that you're going to capture any market share on one percent. So. The very next question out of their mouths is obviously, well, how much should I spend? And I just did some posts and kind of recirculated some things that I've talked about in the past um, on how much that should be spent. And typically, I'll say, if your business is less than five years old, you should be putting somewhere between 10 to 15 percent of your gross revenue back into marketing and advertising. And that's both online and offline. Um, so that's a big, that's a drastic change from the, the instead of fifteen thousand dollars a year, we're talking about fifteen thousand dollars a month or one hundred fifty thousand um, dollars a year uh, in marketing. If you're going to do fifteen percent of that million dollars, so if you have that budget, great. If you don't have that budget, how are you going to get to a million dollars? It's you might as well say you're going to do five million. So two things: you have to know that you have the ability to scale, to be able to grow to get to that top line number and then you need to figure out how the hell are you going to get to that number how's that business going to come into you you're going to live it off off of referrals I've never ever met a contractor that has been busy enough based just on referrals alone everybody needs to market everybody needs to advertise everybody needs to have a site that converts traffic into buyers um, as well as your marketing if it's not doing that how are you getting at that million dollars I want to know so um, if you're spending if you want a million dollars what are you spending on your advertising to get to it? Now, you can come in, drop a comment anonymously, however you want to do it, but it takes a lot to make a million dollars in today's world. So let me know. I'm interested, um, and I'm sure the readers are as well. So that's it.